I no. looked through the diet like 17,000 times and I could never find a tab for like cake. I was really concerned. <laughs> That's bread, baby. <laughs> or ice cream. There was no ice cream or candy tab telling me how many servings I could have a week. I was really concerned. I just went to bed last night and I was like, I'm going to have to read this again. Poor little thing likes her ice cream. long-awaited I think we've missed the last two Big Fit Fridays, Fridays. Yeah. Um, we took like a week and a half off and I think somehow the Fridays like both fell within that um, so we are back today we're gonna talk about a little bit different of things than we normally do number one we have not been weighing um, partially because we just keep forgetting to and then partially because I have not felt good and when I don't feel good, I cook quick meals that are not always the healthiest, and we have not been and able I'm to not exercise. Lie. I haven't stepped foot in a gym, put on my running shoes, anything in about two weeks. Yeah, it's been about two weeks since we've really been doing things. If I look like I'm in pain now, I am in pain. So it's not because I don't want to be here, it's just that I don't feel good. Um, and I think because if you guys haven't seen, Wednesday's video go and check it out we went to our second opinion kind of consult with a new doctor and got a lot of information and one of those things was being diagnosed with endometriosis and so I think up until now the pain has been getting progressively worse um, but I nobody ever said that I had anything so right. I kept feeling like it's all in your head like just suck it up and keep going and so now that I actually know something's wrong right I feel like I'm feeling it more or either I'm paying more attention to it I don't know it's also cycle day one so this day has progressively gotten more painful over the past few months I almost woke Derek up earlier today to ask him to go do the dog visits with me because I literally didn't know if I could get out of the house. I just was hurting so badly. Um, so I'm saying all of that to say I'm not stepping on the scale for my sanity. My clothes are still getting, I was going to say smaller, I'm still getting smaller. My clothes are still getting bigger so I'm not really like worried. Yeah, um, and my weight's probably fluctuating now anyways because of the time of the right. month that it is. Yeah. Um, but after all of that, or saying all of that, when we went to my doctor, he recommended yeah. a certain, and I'm going to say the word diet, even though everybody freaks out about saying the word diet, and I don't mean it in the conte context of us uh, going yeah. on a diet. It's just like your diet. Your diet. Like <laughs> right. The food you choose to eat. Yeah. Um, or you will eat. So, um... He did it, A, because of it helping with weight loss, and he knows that's what we're trying to do, and um, he is one of the doctors that really believes that the um, fertility zone is anywhere between, like, what, the 18 to 25 mm -hmm. uh, BMI um, point on the index right. there. So it's going to help us get that way, um, but it also encourages... Um, healthier eating. Healthier really. eating. So, I, did you and tell them about the... more fertile friendly eating, the, I think, um, too. The explanation he gave of it? No, because I didn't 100% understand it. <laughs> so... So, um, you explain it for all of us. <laughs> we're going... He is... Uh, he recommended a Mediterranean-style diet. And we'll go over that in just a minute. What they want us to eat, what you avoid, what you need to do. Um, but what it does is... And if any of you are diabetic, you know this as well. Our body is on this roller coaster with insulin and sugar and glucogen, um, which insulin is what drives sugar into the body where we accept it. Glucogen is what makes sure that we don't have too much just sitting around. So it's like this, literally. And when you're spiking and then your troughs, it doesn't allow 
great quality of eggs because the um, the insulin attacks the um, what's the word <laughs> the uh, pretty much the egg follicle that is yeah. um, that the egg is growing in because it has free floating fluid in it along with the egg. And that free-floating fluid is what's feeding the egg, making it healthy. Well, if you have a lot of the insulin, and there was another IGF factor, which is insulin something something factor, um, that eat the food that your egg would eat. So it doesn't make the um, egg as healthy and as good of a quality as right. it could. So that's what the diet is set to help with. Which, even if that's not true, it makes me more inclined to follow the diet because I know that it, according to him, which I'm assuming is true, right. directly correlates to something that could help us to get pregnant. So, just that alone, and he drew the picture out. Right, yeah. We can't say enough good things about our new doctor. We love him. But, um, yeah, so this kind of diet... Um, for those of you who are trying to get pregnant, um, maybe this is a good thing um, for you to look into yeah. also. Not even just to lose weight, but just to be healthier. It healthier, seems like a really healthy but also, diet. Also, if you are trying to lose weight, it is, I mean, we haven't tried it, but just looking at it, it will. It looks like a healthy It will diet. help you. Help you stay healthier and drop the weight. Right. So, so we're going to go over kind of like the context. If you see us looking to the side, I have it pulled up on my computer, just kind of like the basic things about it. Um, so we're going to go over, it's kind of, it's a Mediterranean style diet. He didn't really, I don't know that there's really a word for it. Right. Um, but I think the main, the main point that he drove with us was to make sure that you have a small portion of protein before every snack. And right. Every That's meal. to help with the insulin spike right. as well, because if you have protein, and then you eat sugar, the protein helps absorb the sugar that's in your stomach versus your body having to create those, that IGF hormone and, right. um, and use so much insulin. So I guess we can start there. He said, um, if you're going to eat anything sugary, you should have a handful of nuts beforehand. Mm -hmm. Protein. I mean, if you want to carry chicken around, I guess you could have some yeah, chicken beforehand. Yeah, he just beforehand. said nuts are the easiest. Um, but nuts are the easiest. So any nuts that grow on the tree. Um, so walnuts, pecans, pistachios. Uh, uh, he almonds. said, yeah, almonds. He said a lot of different nuts, yeah. really. Um, but just like a small handful. Um, yeah, the thing that I found online said 10 to 12 nuts. Yeah. So, so you don't want to eat too many because sometimes nuts have a lot of calories in them, yeah. so don't blow your calories and on he your was, He said you should have that handful of nuts mm -hmm. five to six times a day. Right. And then you should have three to four small meals mm -hmm. a day instead. Yeah, of, he said it like this. Like, like your, your your protein yeah. and then your meal. Yeah. It shouldn't be... And if, if you get hungry, you can have, you know, another meal that, that size. Don't make your meal, your meals that you choose to eat this big. Right. Um, to keep them smaller, smaller where your body processes the food and then you can have more later down the line. Yeah. The other biggest part of this diet is lots of servings of vegetables, yes. green leafy vegetables. Non-starchy um, vegetables, yeah. so no potatoes, nothing yellow. Um, that's the that's pretty much the gist of it. So um, no yellow squash, but you can have zucchini. Um, no potatoes, no corn, no. He well, said lots of kale, lots of lots kale, of broccoli, lots of spinach, must, broccoli, yeah. asparagus, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. So if you're not a huge vegetable fan. Um, it might be a little hard. It will be harder to adjust to, but you you also got to think of the the positive outcome from it. Yeah. Um, so let's we'll go down the list of the paper that he gave us, um, and you know, kind of explain it as we go. Yeah. So the first part is like we were saying about the vegetables: um, a cup of raw or half a cup cooked, five to ten servings a day. Yeah. I think that's what it's. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And then you want to do the next one? Yeah, sure. Um, and then the next thing is like this whole like essential oil thing that you get from foods, I guess. And, and 
everyone knows like in Greece and Italy they eat a lot of olives, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where the diet is based out of. So you can have five olives um, a day um, or one teaspoon of olive oil, pure olive oil, not any of the manufactured crap, like <laughs> real olive oil, or an eighth of an avocado. Mm -hmm. um, and it supposedly gives you all of the same whatever it's trying to get. And I you. know that avocado is good for weight loss, yeah. it's good for your health, and it's good for your fertility. So if you what can know kind of on like, the avocado, what? do not eat avocado bef right before you go to sleep because it has um, a part whatever you know in it that keeps you awake oh, okay so. that's good to know um so then the next is it says to eat hummus or lentil soup at least twice a week we like hummus yeah i, mean, I really do like hummus that goes hand the in hand with our vegetables you can't have the pita bread because it's starchy yeah so <laughs> i like carrots with mine i so will i can eat the carrots with it and like broccoli with it but it's just an adjustment yeah um, um, next is the nuts um, that were on the list. 10 to 12 nuts uh, a day. Um, if you want to have more, because I would probably have more. Yeah. I think it's, it's fine. I love pecans, almonds, pretty much any nut. <laughs> so um, just eat them in smaller portions because they are very caloric. Yeah. They're high in calories. So next, the thing that I found online said to eat four ounces of fish two to three times a week. Our doctor said to eat it more than that. Yeah. Um, but he also recommended not really any other meats. Yeah. Um, the, the diet that I found online said that it was okay to use lean meat or poultry every once in a while. Um, but our doctor said even just eating meals without meat, yeah. which I am 100% a fan of. It's harder for Derek. He likes his meat. That's just because I grew up. Yeah. I mean, I, with a meat on every meal. I yeah. grew up in the South. I'm like, you had steak, beef, or pork with every meal. Right. Um, and then it evolved into chicken. Yeah. Because everything else got expensive. But, um, yeah, our doctor said, you know... The, the diets vary, but he said, you know, have five meals a week with fish mm -hmm. um, and two, at least two without. Yeah, which so, is fine with me because I, yeah. I'm not, I do like fish. I'm not a huge fan of meat. Meat has always grossed me out. I do eat it, obviously. Um, but I have like never... Like the preparation she can't the do. The preparation, and sometimes when I'm eating it, there's just yeah. things that I, it makes me a little sick to my stomach. So, so. any fish, really. Um, he said salmon, you know, salmon, tilapia, oh, salmon. um, bass, sea bass, Yeah, we're gonna have to explore some new fish options, because obviously salmon and, like, tilapia and stuff like that is going to get old eating it constantly. Yeah. So, we'll try some different fish options. If you can, and he also said if, if you can do it with non-preserved fish, like, yeah. Frozen foods to, yeah. to avoid the preservatives. preservatives. Yeah. But um, next up, a lot of eggs. Mm -hmm. That kind of comes in, you know, um, you see a lot of people when they're working out and trying to get the yeah. protein and building muscle. Um, they eat a lot of eggs. It's kind of the same thing. Am that's what the. <laughs> maybe. Probably not. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the eggs are for, is the protein, just kind of like the nuts are to help with... Um, Which we like eggs too, yeah, so... With the insulin, so... It's not really going to um, bother me. We kind of went over the next part as well, the lean meat and right. poultry. Um, In our, moderation. Our doctor um, didn't say to use chicken or lean meat at all. He said just all fish. I, but, I Which, mean... I mean, we've kind of slowly been leaning yeah. towards that. Obviously, I don't think that we will ever cut them out completely. No. But I have always worried about the hormones and things yeah. and them throwing my body out of whack or something right. weird. And we've been migra migrating to more, organic, more light, organic and, organic and white meats because yeah. the red meat is, is what, you know, they always say is really the worst. And right. pork. Yeah, um, we, so we really do not use pork, pork at all. If we do, it's bacon yeah. and that's very rarely is so good. <laughs> so it also said one to three servings of cultured milk a week. So that's like yogurt, fresh curd cheeses like ricotta. Cottage um, cheese. Yeah, cottage cheese, um, stuff like that. Yeah. Not really like the processed American cheeses, cheddar cheese, stuff like that. No string which cheese. Which is harder for me. <laughs> I love my cheese. Cheese and potatoes, which is like, obviously that's my problem. <laughs> um, and what else did they say? Um, so, they, also with the Mediterranean diet, you limit your grains, so no bread. 
um, Which, or very limited. Just thinking about limiting my bread, it probably yeah. has made me drop five pounds. <laughs> Um, so if you do eat bread, eat a full whole wheat bread, not right. the processed bread, not the bread at the store that says 100% right. wheat, wheat um, like whole wheat bread, meaning like you can actually see the grains that were right. in it. Um, that's just because if it's processed, you're really not getting any nutrients out of it anyways. It's just like so it's just dead yeah. calories. Yeah. Um, and then this is going to be my hardest. None. Let's wait, wait, and see if anyone can guess what would be hard for Derek. If you do not already know the answer. You have not been watching yeah, long enough. You must be new. <laughs> um, Non-caffeinated drinks. Not even non-caffeinated. Yeah, We're talking water, water and or tea. green tea. Yeah. And like the other herbal teas. Right. So. That might be a little bit hard for me too because I do like... Um, not the caffeinated, but the carbonated, um, like Clear America, just to name a brand. Right. Um, that doesn't have any calories and it's no caffeine and stuff like that, but it still has like sweeteners and sugars in it. And um, that's really what it's cutting out is yeah. sweetener. Um, aspartame. I no. looked through the diet like 17,000 times and I could never find a tab for like cake. I was really concerned. <laughs> That's bread, baby. <laughs> or ice cream. There was no ice cream or candy tab telling me how many servings I could have a week. I was really concerned. I just went to bed last night and I was like, I'm going to have to read this again. Poor little thing likes her ice cream. I like sugar, really. And I don't have to eat a lot of it. She just needs a little bit. But, but I, I think that's all right. You just yeah. got to have your protein before it, right. remember? Um, so that's kind of where we're heading into so the diet our next new week. Fertility friendly diet plan. That's how we yeah. plan. I don't like calling it a diet because no, I'm not like it's not a diet really. No, yeah, we're gonna follow it as closely as we can. Right. But it's just gonna be like food choices. So. Anyways, that's kind of what we're planning on doing moving forward next week. We're going to work on that next week and see how it goes. I'm looking yeah. forward to the changes. Yeah. If you guys like fish, since we don't eat a ton of it, let us know in the comments. Um, and we'll yeah, and let us know any cool way that you like cook vegetables or yeah. roast vegetables or any like seasonings that you guys use. Um, because I think sometimes it's easy to get bored with things when it's just bland. Plain, yeah. So if we can like come up with some new cool ideas right. and different things, then be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Let us know if you guys are going to follow anything with this. Um, or if you have heard anything about this style of right, eating. Yeah. Um, or if you've had any success with it. Don't we always like feedback failure. on it. So, yeah. um, and tips. Tips are great. Yeah. So. so we're excited. I'm excited to be making strides toward... Um, being more fertile, I guess. Um, it's kind of nice when like weight loss and fertility can like come together and you feel like you're working right. towards the same goal with every single thing in your life. So when he mentioned this, I was like, that sounds That's like something better we should than, do. Yeah. Yeah. So, Try but we'll see how it goes. We'll let you guys know next week how we are going with the different foods that we tried. We'll let you know if we have any recipes that we really enjoyed. Or um, if we really hated something. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but we will see you guys on Monday. Um, Monday you're going to see our vlog from yesterday um, and what kind of day we had yesterday with going through our, was supposed to be due date from our IVF round. So you guys will see all of that. Um, from yesterday, and then on Wednesday we'll pick back up with a new with week. a normal vlog, and yeah. then Friday you'll get this again. So yeah, so we'll see you guys on we Monday. We will see you. Bye, guys. Bye.